Hello children today we will read lesson 2 of your english course book first flight the name of the lesson is nelson mandela long walk to freedom it's written by nelson mandela now children let us know about the lesson the lesson is taken from nelson mandela's autobiography long walk to freedom here he speaks about the historic occasion of the oath taking ceremony of the democratically elected first black president of south africa and his council of ministers after more than 3 centuries of white supremacy mr mandela's african national congress party won 252 out of 400 seats in the first democratic election of south africa and formed the government This lesson's most significant aspect is apartheid which is discrimination based on skin color and how it was abolished in South Africa Students if you turn to page number 16 of your book you will find information about Nelson Mandela and how he became South Africa's first black president go through it first and then start reading the lesson in this lesson you will find some of the difficult words and their meanings have already been mentioned along with the text but before we start with the summary of the lesson let us go through few more difficult words and their meanings for better understanding of the chapter don't the day began non racial irrespective of race or skin color sworn pledged it's the third form for the word swear privilege honor or fear or surprise mixed with respect precision exactness or accuracy bide decorated oppression suppression brutality inhuman behavior grimaced in the saddest moments abide obey yearned attempted to achieve or get something or you long for virtuous morally excellent Now since this lesson is an autobiography the extract is not in a story form so let us discuss the major points brought out by Nelson Mandela in this extract Let us summarize the lesson under these major points The first point is the historic occasion the oath or swearing in ceremony of Nelson Mandela the first black president of south africa and his colleagues took place on 10th may it was a historic occasion dignitaries and representatives of 140 countries came to attend it next point is oath taking ceremony nelson mandela took oath as the president he pledged to obey and uphold constitution and devote himself to the well-being of the republic and its people mandela's address then president mandela addressed the guests he welcomed and thanked them for having come to take part with the people of his country in the celebration of a common victory of justice peace and human dignity after getting political freedom his government pledged to liberate people from the bondage of poverty deprivation suffering gender and other discriminations he wished the sun of freedom to shine on his country forever next point is end of ceremony after the ceremony the display of military force was carried out finally the jets left the smoke of black red green blue and gold of the new south african flag in the end two national anthems were sung by the whites and the blacks the last point in this page is remembering history 
and it is birth of appetite. In the first decade of the 20th century, a few years after Anglo-Boyer War, the white-skinned people patched up their differences and erected system of racial domination against the dark-skinned people of South Africa. It was the birth of apartheid, the harshest in human creation. In the last decade of the 20th century, the system has been abolished forever, recognizing the rights of all people irrespective of their color of skin or religion. In continuation, the next point is the long fight for freedom. He remembered the suffering and courage of thousands of patriots who participated in the long struggle for freedom but were not there to witness the fruit of their achievement. The policy of apartheid. It created a deep wound in African people. It was a reign of oppression and cruelty. But deep oppression produced the Oliver Tambus, the Walter Susilus, Yusuf Dadius, etc. Men of unparalleled courage, wisdom and generosity. The true meaning of courage. His comrade taught him what courage meant. It is not absence of fear, but victory over it. Hate and love. No one is born hating another on the basis of color of skin or religion. If they can learn to hate then, why not learn to love which comes naturally? He believed in the goodness of man that never dies. Twin obligations. Every man has twin obligations. One is towards his family and the other towards his people and his country. In the reign of appetite, if one tried to fulfill his duty towards his people, he was ripped off his family and home. What freedom meant to Mandela at different stages of life? Mandela said he was born free. He had the freedom to run in the fields, swim in the stream and ride on a bull. Boyhood freedom was an illusion. As a student, he wanted transitory freedom. Freedom to stay out at night, to read books of his choice. As a young man, he yearned for basic, honorable freedom of achieving his potential, of marrying and having a family. Hunger for freedom. It started when he became a young man, when he joined the African National Congress Party. The hunger increased. First, he wanted freedom only for himself. Then he started feeling hunger for freedom of all his people and his country. The last point of the summary is oppressed and oppressor both need to be liberated. The oppressor is a prisoner of hatred, prejudice and narrow-mindedness. Both the oppressor and the oppressed are robbed of their humanity. So here we end with the summary of the lesson. Thank you.